The heart of Otranto is a mixture of breathtaking views of the sea and of an old town that still preserves authentic glimpses of the past. A dense network of narrow streets, overlooked by Mediterranean-style houses decorated by flowered balconies. It is easy to find ancient constructions dating back to different periods, rich in extraordinary charm. From the hinterland, we are greeted by Porta Alfonsina, an imposing passage in the thick Aragonese defensive curtain. Walking along Corso Garibaldi, you are immersed in a picturesque and magical universe at the same time, dominated by the clock tower, which bears the coat of arms of the city of Verona. In the ruins of the ancient church of the Immaculate rises Porta a Mare, an ancient urban access that leads to the docks of the port. Pushing into the oldest part of the village, you enter the bastion of the Pelasci, with its enchanting views of the Bay of Otranto. The views offered by the historic centre are enchantingly beautiful. Many illustrious figures of European and Italian culture were fascinated by the colours of this city. Among these, Carmelo Bene chose his residence among the narrow streets of Otranto. In memory of the great actor from Salento, the community of Otranto wanted to dedicate a museum to it, now being finalized, with the aim of preserving and promoting the artist's work. In the heart of the streets of the village, St. Peter's Church appears in its beauty, a monument representing the Byzantine art and architecture of Puglia, dating back to the 8th and 9th centuries. Its austere archaic forms are decorated inside by extraordinary cycles of medieval frescoes, a legacy of Italian-Greek artistic culture. The historic centre of Otranto is a source of genuine beauty, still able to surprise and marvel in spite of its many centuries of age. <laughs>